and a two, and a one, two, three. Go. Did we do it? We did it. Check, check. The Our microphones are working. We are seeing audio, but are we hearing audio? Yeah. I hear well, you. seeing it is hearing it. <laughs> Friends, hello and welcome to Two Player Tuesday. I'm Becca Scott. I'm Jake Michaels. And today we are playing Tesseract from Smirk and Dagger. This is a co-op dice manipulation game with dice on a little lazy Susan. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, thanks for the raid, Blunderbuss TV. Appreciate that. How you doing, everybody? It's good to see you back. We've had some time off. Mm-hmm. You've been traveling. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's my fault. No, no, it's a good reason. You it's were, all my fault. You were doing more game stuff. I was. I've been doing many a thing. Uh, but game stuff indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> I just came back yesterday from Magic 30, which is the first of Magic Con, which is a, a series of conventions. This one had the World Championship of Magic. It had uh, Game Nights Live, if you ever heard of those cats. It had um, elaborate set pieces called Lairs that looked like um, Planeswalkers kind of habitats where there was a cosplayer in each one and free play tables for people to play at. So that was my favorite place to play a little commander <laughs> when I had the free time. And then, oh, whole huge tournament space. That's awesome. Yeah, so it was many things. This was in many Vegas? people in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is an interesting place, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, that's the one word to describe. That's a good adjective. Interesting. It's interesting. Which hotel was it? Well, so truth is, they didn't book the strip in time. There's a oh, bunch no. of convention centers in Las Vegas, but uh, we were in old downtown. Yeah. Which, Which actually is pretty was totally the plan yeah. all along, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I like Old Downtown actually. Jake, I haven't been there in about I'm questioning eight your years life though. Choices. Okay, great. So maybe before then. There is a street called Fremont Street. Yeah, oh yeah, it's I know like, Fremont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm ma maybe I'm making myself seem seedier than I am. It was a fun Seedy's place. Seedy's a great word. Okay, maybe it's uh, not what it was that's, anymore. That's uh, in line with interesting. It was like faux CD back then. Now it's like different there's so much people watching yeah let me tell yes. you yeah. i did play a little blackjack on the last night but i got my beauty rest uh each night as others may or may not have been out till 4 a.m at the casino do you think we could start a magic table at a casino like kind of like blackjack how does the house always win well that's the thing i think it's like an open all players against right it's like a commander but everybody puts their money in the ante essentially like old school ante but not cards it's just we'll keep $10, brainstorming yeah. uh how we can turn magic into a casino <laughs> regular stop thank you so much to everybody who's resubbing right now oh that's agents fire going wild seven gifts they've gifted a total of 400 of then 30 subs Holy cow. in the channel. Agent. That's over many years, but uh, yeah, but that's still amazing. A nice yeah, round yeah. <laughs> Is Becca echoey again? Oh, God. She sounds fine to me. Okay, good. I mean, I'm right Aww, next to you. Aw, yay. Keep that boost ring going. Uh, how are you all? What's new? Welcome to the chat room. Jake? Well, I went to a, a board game party, and I haven't been to one of those, like, I think since COVID times, and it was oh. so refreshing. I yeah. played a lot of really fun games. Um, have you ever played, uh, there's actually a new one coming to Kickstarter um, called Chicken? Chicken. It's just literally called Chicken. I'm not, I've played Chicken on the road. You yes, know I mean? this one is not as dangerous. Once a day. <laughs> You've I'd never say. lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you know, you wouldn't see me again. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's a push your luck dice rolling game and it plays up to eight people. Uh, it's really fun, but you can roll progressively more dice even though you don't control how often they happen because one of the die faces is an egg, which means it hatches a new die for you. So you keep adding more dice, but one of the die faces is death. So you don't want to lose that. Just like the life of a chicken. <laughs> it's a fox. You're either laying yeah. eggs or you're dead. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Age is fire. Get out of here. Gifted 20 subs. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. The human voice synthesizer. That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe we're loose on connection? I think I think you're... Hmm, that's possible. Amelia Bates Dexter just resubbed 
Um, okay, we're you, gonna mute this. <laughs> since I did a uh, mediocre job describing that game, will you do a really good job describing? No, the Tesseract. Someday, <laughs> someday I will. Hold on, let's re-roll these. Ooh, nice. Uh, we're gonna. All right. So this lazy Susan. Can you put that back yeah, on absolutely, there? I can. It was never to be off. What is the Tesseract name of a lazy Susan? Like, what's the scientist's equivalent? The, An accelerating the Elizabeth. The particle accelerator. Yeah. Patricia. <laughs> okay, so uh, setup wise, you take the 64 dice in four different colors, include it with your smirk and dagger tesseract box, and you place them in nice layers on your lazy Susan here. So, we're scientists, Doctor. and as scientists, oh, we have to save the world. That's just the life of a scientist, you know? Uh, so, we each have our lab. This is a co-op game, and the goal of the game is for us to stop the Tesseract from blowing up and destroying the universe. And in order to do that, we must contain it. In order to contain it, we must take one uh, of each color and one of each pip value and place it into this containment field. The way that we do that is through a series of actions on our turn followed by a threat phase where some of these dice will fall into the primed area oh you can't even see it on camera the primed area and if we ever get three of the same pip value in the primed area oh well, that's a breach <laughs> uh-oh we get seven breaches the world ends so as scientists uh, we are obligated to not let that happen so we can continue to do science. That's the main reason we keep the world in existence. <laughs> you know, there's more experience right. to be had. We're scientists to save the world and saving the world so we can do science. Exactly. It's a perpetual it. motivation machine is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So what you mentioned here was that the pips have values, which is really cool is that the dots... On the Why, yes, this confused me at first yeah. until I finished reading the rule book. <laughs> uh, it's not just regular old pips on these dice. They have cool symbols. And let me do a little close-up. We got a boop. So, We'll bring yeah, it back down for close-up reference. Uh, so, actually, I'd like to show on the containment. We've got uh, one... The Z is a two, three is a triangle, four is a square, five is whatever that is, and six is a cube. Uh, so a crosshair, maybe. Yeah, that's how we're gonna find out what we need. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I let love me talk about. Uh, we each have our lab, and on our turn, we can do a series of. We have six options. We can do three actions. We can repeat the same, but. Some characters, some researchers, perhaps uh, have a benefit if you do different actions or something like that. But the things you can do are you can remove a cube that has three open sides from the Tesseract. So to begin, actually, we each begin with one cube in our lab. If you want to go first, choose one of the corner dice to add to your lab. Keep whatever side is face up, face up. Okay. Um, I'll try this three right here. Excellent. Uh, you said when you were introducing this game to me that it's not a dexterity game, but you need dexterity to play it, That's which I correct. appreciate. Because this thing, yeah, I love this Lazy Susan thing, but it's so precarious if you have a slightly wobbly table, you have to be very careful. Or if you're a wobbly person. Yeah. Or if you're wobbly by nature. Oh, sorry. Roll it, please. Oh, and roll then it. And place it in your lab. Okay. Oh, so should I have taken something of a higher value, I wonder? Oh, well, um, I've taken it. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to optimize. In general, you always roll before it goes in the primed area. So don't even worry about it. Oh, interesting. You always roll before it goes in the primed area. I rolled a six. All right. So that's bad. But I'll take this purple one. I'll roll it. And I've got a purple one. That's really good. And that's really good. Now, even though this is co-op, you're already doing significantly better. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> I mean, you said that. <laughs> I just realized our dice box is right behind our faces. So we can bring this up a little bit, yeah? Nice. <sighs> All right, and then in the primed area, I'm adding a six and a two. Oh, we start with two as well in the primed area. We do. Okay. We do. Now, 
the other way we can lose the game aside from breaches is by running out of dice in our tesseract if there are no more dice the world ends but 64 dice here only need 24 in containment I think we can do it we also have research cards there's level 2 level 3 level 4 we start with a level 2 what's yours mine's reassemble I can set any one primed cube which again is down here uh, to any value awesome. so I can change this 6 to a 1 if I want cool. to now you can play that anytime during your action phase mine is realignment relocate up to two cubes on the tesseract heck yeah that's really good yeah. that's awesome actually because they, um, as you mentioned in the threat phase, the lowest level one physically uh, gets moved into the primed area. Is that right? That's correct. All right. Uh, but it, it is moved, but we re-roll it, so that way you don't know right. if you're going to get screwed by having uh, accidentally earned three. So they're the always, number. so that whenever they're moved in the prime area, they are rolled first. Correct. Oh, brutal. Okay. Yeah. So we can remove things from the test react, put them in our lab. We can adjust, which means you increase or decrease the value of a cube by one, either in the primed area or your own lab. Uh, you can transfer to trade one cube per action with another player, and uh, or not trade, uh, either give or take one action each. You can study to upgrade your research card to the next highest level. Um, you can do the ability on your researcher card. And then most importantly, you can contain, which means if you have a set of three of the same number or three, four, or five, possibly even six, although I don't know why you'd want to do six, um, you, if you have a run of numbers, one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. then you can take one of those by doing the contain action and put it into the containment field in the appropriate color and value spot. Just one die of Just that. Just one. Okay. Then you can optionally re-roll everything else that was in that set or run that you didn't um, place in containment and um, not including anything else that just happens to be in your lab. And uh, you can re-roll those dice in order to draw a research card equal to the level equal to the number of dice you re-rolled. Two, three, and four. Uh-huh, so remember they can be all the same number of pips or in a run of consecutive numbers. And they must either be all the same color or all different colors. And you know what? That's why you're limited to um, a run of four. Five. No, 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 because they could all be the same. They could all be the same. You yeah. could go up to six, hypothetically. All right, well, let's get into it. Maybe we'll find out why through our play. Uh, the other thing is once we start filling up our containment board, we get little perks. Once we get more stuff, like we can flip these containment card uh, abilities and use them. And uh, we can do things like destroy cubes from the Tesseract. Oh, also, in this primed area, we can use the adjust ability to make them go down one pip. If we make a one go down, it disappears. From time Matter and space? Matter can be destroyed. <laughs> if you're a scientist, <laughs> okay. you understand. Well, since you picked your cube first, let's say your first player. Sure. Um, should we introduce our researchers? Absolutely. Um, I'm the demolitions expert, uh, Dr. DeBaum. Uh, preparation. <laughs> this is my a passive ability. Whenever I adjust a cube in my lab, I may adjust a prime cube as well, is what I believe that means. Heck yeah. That's really cool. So I don't get to do one or the other. I get to do both, essentially. Sweet. Uh, my action uh, ability, which is our uh, unique turn. Uh, mine's once per turn. Uh, it's called detonate. Destroy a primed cube that matches an identical cube in your lab. And by identical, they mean not only the pip value, but also the color. Every science lab needs a demolitions expert. Yeah, he's just and standing by the door, smoking, just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this feels like Vegas. Okay, okay, Dr. DeBaum. Uh, I'm the crisis controller. Mm. Everything is under control here. Uh, I am Dr. Calm. Dr. Calm, yes, absolutely. Dr. Calm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> passive ability is negotiation. Whenever a threat event is revealed, oh, this is not, okay, so a threat event is whenever we get to the bottom of a stack, which will definitely happen because each turn we have to take the lowest in height cube and put it 
into the primed area. Mm -hmm. So when we reveal the very bottom, there's a symbol there that is an event on this event key where something else not so good is going to happen. <laughs> uh, so whenever that's revealed, I can discard a research card to ignore the event effect. Also, my action is locked down. Contain a cube from your lab if there are three or more of that value in the primed area. Oh. I don't know if this is as good as I thought it might be. I just thought getting rid of cubes from the primed area. That's that. No, that action is really good. The lockdown. Horrible. Yeah. Contain a cube from your lab if there are three. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that means if we're in trouble, you, you you are literally the crisis control. I get it now. You are every time we're in a whole lot of trouble and think we're going to lose. This is where you come into into play. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You make me feel calm. Well, now I'm a little confused because if there are three or more of a value in the primed area, mm -hmm. I'm going to need to use my action to get rid of it. But the breach would happen. The breach will occur, but the breach doesn't remove the dice. The dice stay there. So it could get worse, but you will be able on your turn to do it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we could yeah. get like four in a row and then that's just another breach. Yeah. Yeah. I see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, more importantly, how much leftover candy does everyone have? <laughs> I left all of it at the house I was at last yeah, night. Yeah, that's so why. No more. Don't it is bring gone. it home. Yeah. If it's in the cabin, it's getting eaten. That's the problem. It's still in my belly right now. <laughs> it's in my digestive tract. Lots of chocolate. Yeah, chocolate peanut butter for me. Ooh. Ugh. The Reese's? Yeah, I also, I kind of forego candy and went for like a whole pint of Trader Joe's ice cream recently, and it's phenomenal. I That's was surprised. That's a great choice. Yeah, it yeah. was really good. Well, Highly yeah. recommend. Yeah. Trader Joe's sponsoring Tesseract, by the way, as well. Anyway, should we get to our science work? Best please. Uh, you want me to go first? Is that what we decided? Yeah. Okay. So, um, action phase. Um, I so I got a six. We don't have to these the the placement of these does not matter. We can rearrange this freely. Yeah, you can rearrange your lab freely. That's, okay. That's what you do when you come into the office in the morning. I feel like uh, it doesn't matter which ones I remove in terms of whether they'll be primed because we reroll those anyway. So I'm trying to really look to bring these here that'll get me a run in a set so we can start containing. Totally. You said six was bad, which I think is because it's harder to deal with when it's primed? Hey, it's 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 not... I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm <laughs> No, no, but I want your theories. You, we're, we're working together. My theory is you've got a four visible, an mm -hmm. orange four. Yeah. And uh, that seems pretty sweet. Yeah, but then I need an orange five too. But I could always adjust it up to a five too if I needed to. You could, or you could move the six down one. But I also got a green, or excuse me, a yellow four, which would give me options for any colored five, or two colors of five. You know what I'm saying? Because they can be different colors. I can get a blue and a purple five. That's true. I see two options for you to contain next turn. Because there's a four and a six available now. Oh my gosh. So you can move, you can adjust this six down one, and then you got to run. You could even go for a bigger run with a yellow three. Oh no. Orange three. Oh no. Blue three. <laughs> What a fun puzzle. I already am loving this. Okay, I guess my question is, should I start containing immediately? Is that what we need to probably start doing? Because that's I know it's our objective. We have nothing to really worry about here. I'm not here. worried about the primed area at this point in time. Okay, well, since my preparation ability allows me to do that, I should adjust every turn so we can get stuff down. So I am going to take the four. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'll take the six. That's a good idea. <laughs> Contained. All right, that's one. That's a remove action, right? Um, and then I get two more actions. So if I do this, bring it to a four. Remove. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. And then I'll do the adjust action. That's the robot, so you can't be too the, the, the robot went to the university. He, the robot did a thesis. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To. yeah. Even the robot's <laughs> in this facility. And then I'll adjust this. And every time I adjust a cube in my lab, I may also adjust a prime cube. I think we'll do this down to one, right? Get it Ooh, one spot closer. Oh, yeah. I love that choice. All right. So that makes that easier. Uh-oh. Threat phase beginning. Now, I have to use the contain ability, which I'm out of actions. So I'll do that next turn. Right? Yeah. Okay. Containment protocol. <laughs> okay. So uh, now the threat phase begins. We must remove a cube from the Tesseract that is accessible, meaning three sides visible, and the lowest in height and then values. The lowest in height, there's a bunch, but the lowest in value is a three. A three, yeah. And we get so, to choose which yeah, three, we right? Do purple or orange? Or blue? Let's do blue. 
Okay. Choices must be made. Choices must be made. Hey, that's... I rolled a one! Troublesome. No, because we can contain them. Uh, we can adjust them into oblivion. Yes. Now, nothing breached because we're good scientists. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, I see a purple three. Mm hmm. But I see no more purples. And we're lacking for some twos. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a blue. Three. Removed. <laughs> uh, and an orange. Three. Also removed. Okay, so now I can just adjust one of those to a two, and then I'll be ready to contain. But instead, I'm going to adjust. Let's turn this to zero. Cube. Oh, Destroyed. you're destroyed. Your auto tune's very good. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. This is Yoga Bot. <laughs> it was in a series called Thrashtopia. Um, okay. Now we're ready. That was one, two, three actions, threat phase. Remove a cube that is the lowest. Womp, womp. Oh, things are cascading already. Oh, yeah. This is dangerous. Okay, I see how being a scientist is hard sometimes. So, you can, when, when we can use our research on our turns? You free. can only use your research card on your turn. As That's a free correct. action? Uh, you, uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I was going to say, because you have that, that cool realignment ability, too. Yeah. Let me look for... Details on relocate while you take your turn. Great. So um, we've got to run here. We've got to run a three, and they're all in a different color. So that means I can contain. Um, I think I'm going to contain the six. I feel like that's the answer because then I can eat more easily grab stuff uh, to make another run if I need to. So orange six is getting contained. Uh, now I may optionally re-roll these. Six. Contained. Which I think maybe I will do, even though I was prioritizing keeping them. Um, let's see. There's another. Actually, there's another orange six right here. So I probably should not re-roll them for the research because I can take advantage of that. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm going to actually remove. Ooh, you can contain twice. And in one then turn. I'll contain again. Yeah. Oh my godness. So uh, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to contain this purple five because we got another purple five okay. right yeah. there. Contained purple again. Contained That's again. my three actions. Okay, you can reroll optionally Ooh. if you like. I can reroll optionally if I like? Well, you get a right. blue card if you right. do, which I say go for it. Unless you're spying something over here. Well, I saw that there's a there's this, so I could grab that and, and do the... The purple five is not currently accessible. Right. But I could make it accessible. Yeah. I figured we will have at, at some point, so... Because you do have an oil and orange, too. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what I will do? I will take this back, actually. And okay. because... <laughs> okay. Well, here's what I... Here's, here's the thought. Um... So I see, I see now. what if I did a four-way run here and adjusted one of these for the heck of it? Um, let's say this to like a three, which destroys my run, but where's the three? Um, it allows me to adjust a prime cube. Okay. Which I should always take advantage of, right? Yeah. Or I can actually, I'll use this instead. Oh, Mm. I was going to say if I adjust this, then I can actually detonate this next turn. So I'll do that. I'll adjust this this to a zero. Wait, you can use your action to destroy this cube? Right, but my action was to change this to that value, so oh, I can't do course. both. So but of course. I'll save that because this will stay there, and then I'll detonate this. Detonate! I'm just putting them here. That's a good idea because we might pull them back. That's a good idea. We might. Yeah. Okay, now threat phase. Oh, boy. So this is the lowest level down here. And it's the two. Oh no. And we get an event. The event is... It's a threat. You may discard a research card to ignore that event's effect. <gasps> uh, chain reaction. Prime the lowest cube on the Tesseract. So it's just another one is what it is. I think... 
You should I keep don't these. Want, I want to keep my, yeah. my realignment. We should take the hit. Yeah. Which actually, this is fine because it's a yellow one, I believe, is the lowest cube. Yeah, that's it. We can deal with that. Prime, We bad. can deal with that. Oh, boy. Oh, oh the boy. stickers, the stickers. <laughs> so this is a prototype. So we've still got stickers on our dice instead of printed. They'll be even more smooth. Very nice prototype, oh, too, though. Like, these, this yeah. is, this is oh, slick. It's gorgeous. Our design is wonderful. I feel like that's the only thing that is precarious it, it is yeah. going to change yeah. Yeah. yeah from the prototype so <laughs> rarely seen love to see it okay so that was the threat and now it is my turn i think i'm going to go ahead and oh, use real we need to roll this don't we we do we need to roll both of them i roll forgot that's that's a part that's a part of this that's a part of that's science that's a part of science oh interesting two threes and one four all right we can just turn it off the that's camera. that's so much smarter I use a big brain. Good job, doctor. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> okay. I just heard what the crisis manager sounds like, and I'm, I'm very concerned. And doctor calm. But just very astute and very intelligent. I'm 14 years old. But just tell talks I dis. Well, I'm seven. I'm seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to use realignment to relocate up to two cubes on the Tesseract. Because we got this whole breach over here. Well, now oh. I'm wondering, Becca, though, does it matter? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter now. Right? Maybe yeah, it's for oh, when we're getting close to another one. Well, yeah, because we can't take any more from that location, so that's actually safe. I could only relocate one cube from the top to this spot, and this card allows me to relocate two. So I'll hold on that. So I'm going to lock something down. First... It is of interest to me to adjust this orange three to an orange four. First action. Now I have, oh gosh, hold on. I don't know how to count. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a um, we can go over that if you want. I gotta. What comes after <laughs> one? I've been reviewing that a lot lately with the kid. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, How's that working out for your four-month-old? Um, fine for him. Really good for me. I'm very familiar with the first ten digits now. Love that. Yeah, That's I got a book good. and everything. So what I need is, ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this yellow three. Okay. And now I oh, have a set of threes. Ooh. Oh, perfect, Becca. That's really good, actually. Actually. No! <laughs> because that blue four is something I'll need. I'm not taking can. that. I'm taking the purple three. So I have okay. a set of four threes. And actually, maybe I'll take this one. <sighs> mm. Now, what Jenga's you. Jenga's just a side game. Okay. A good thing you did too was you have two of these on the second level now, so we won't get down to the next level below that on my turn. Cha! Yeah. I'm the scientist! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fly now, fly I took. I did two remove actions. Now I'm gonna do one contain action. I'm gonna take. Oh, let's just keep going orange. I'm going to try and go in the same color or value when yeah, possible. Yeah, that's smart. And I'm going to contain this orange. Woo! Oh, oh, oh better idea. Oh. Better idea. When I contain, I always get the option to destroy one matching color and pit Becca. value in a primed area. So Becca. we want to destroy well this cube because I'm a really good scientist. And then... I will optionally re-roll the others. Now that's three dice, which is a medium research card, so that could be worth it. I, was I, always researching am, I feel like I'm going to opt to always yeah. re-roll, because I like to roll dice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we All got right. one, two, five. It's fine. It's fine. We'll work with it, that's but great. I did re-roll three dice, so I get this yellow card. Antimatter bond. Destroy one cube in your lab to destroy all identical primed cubes. Okay. Okay. I can always take an action to study, discarding this for a level four. Ooh, that I like the idea of. Yeah. Was that all three? That was a remove, remove, contain. So it is now the threat phase. Mm. I shall prime. The lowest possible level is this five. Mm -hmm. We're gonna re-roll. I rolled a two. Right, right. Blink. 
and that's it. No Prince Daryl, no breach. Well done. Okay. Um, it's Dr. DeBomb's turn. We've got some good options, as we mentioned. This hey, quick cue. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No problem. If you take the final cue with a remove action, does that cause an any time an event icon in the base plate is revealed, trigger its effects immediately, even during the action phase, read the play array. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're good? I am good. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to take the blue four right here, as that will complete a four run set for us. Ooh! Well done, scientist. Before I do, though, before I contain it, Maybe actually, I can't get a two because there's only four colors. Um, before I contain it though, I'm gonna use the detonate action. Once per turn, I can destroy a prime cube that matches an identical cube in your lab. Well, I got a, a yellow three, so. Nice. Okay. And then for my contain action, I think you already have, we already have both of these taken care of. So let's go with the uh, purple five. That's a thing to watch out for. It'll get more difficult to make sure you're you not. You get what you need. You already have. You have something novel. To What's contain. Uh, remind me what the ability is that we get when we get a whole row. Place any one destroyed cube on oh, the test rack. That's cool. All right, we're re-rolling for research. We got two four oh two sixes and a two. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we get. Mass removal. Take one cube from the Tesseract and place it in your lab. You may adjust it. Um, great. I, we're about to get another event, unfortunately, right? Because the lowest level is Yeah, it's occurring. prime o'clock. Yeah. Well, but it's still your turn. I'm out of actions, but I don't know if either of these will really change this. Take a cube from the Tesseract, place it in your lab. Hmm. I mean, we'll still trigger an event if I take that one. Yeah, I think uh, we're screwed either way. <laughs> so let's go ahead, shall we? All right. Let's reveal a threat. Reroll. It's a five. And we've revealed four to five. Reroll the lowest primed cube. No! Oh, hey. Becca, great roll. You're welcome. Wow, you should be a crisis controller. Oh, thank you. Also, chat, I'm sorry, we've been like so engrossed in this great game. We've barely, we barely talked to you. Hi, how's it going? Uh, do you lose if you knock it over? Asked Camelus. Uh That's a house rule you could play by, <laughs> but the book says just put it back as best you can remember. Yeah, and there's a handy sleeve around here for readjusting it too. Um, this, this is a very uh, oh, stable Sarah band. Oh, Sarah is in California. Welcome, welcome to the West Side. Uh, Y'all, my in real life is one of our editors that just moved cross country. Welcome to town. Jenga wrecked. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different game. Uh, but if you have any children under five in the house, this game can be repurposed for their purposes. All right, <laughs> what did we do? That was a, that was a prime, I no think, breach. I think, yeah, that's the end of my threat phase, so you're up. All right, I've got a one, one, two, five. What do you even do with that? Well. I could ha get a three and a four. Okay, I have one, two. If I get a yellow three, I might have something. I have a question real quick. Well, I'll allow it real quick. Do you want to maybe consider your realignment ability? Because it could reveal new options, and it will also protect us from a future uh, event. That is a great idea. We will realign. One card used. I am going to take from the top. And just as a reminder, folks, that's relocate up to two cubes on the Tesseract. So she's going to put them down on that second level, so we'll have all three level cubes. Hoping. Oh, I like that purple three because then I have a set. Um, so let's see. That's irrelevant. Do you have anything you're eyeing that I could free up for you? Like a, um, a yellow six would be good. Or a one. purple six would be, yeah, but I don't want it from there. I don't want that. Uh, I could take the yellow five. That's fine. Because, or I mean the purple five because I could always adjust it. And adjusting it's good for us. Okay, when so I do it. I'm going to take. This mm -hmm. orange. Oh gosh. <laughs> Readjust. Yeah, I gotta actually stop putting my elbows on the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but I was no, thinking. I was, yeah. 
Okay. You can say it. Uh, realignment complete. Now. Nicely done. My first action, I'll take this purple three. Okay. <gasps> There's a purple four as well. Let's, I'm not worried about the primed area. Okay. I don't have two of anything yet. That's true. We've been we've been knocking that out pretty well. So I'm gonna take the purple four, and now I have a. I'll rearrange a little. I got a one, a two, a three, a four, and so it's time to contain. I'm going to. I don't match anything with my purples, unfortunately. So we'll just go for a purple four. Now it is contained. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and re-roll. I get oh. a level three card. Spatial rent. Destroy a number of primed cubes with a total value of three or less. Ooh. Okay. That's really nice. What were you so excited about about my, my cubes here? Oh, I was just surprised that you uh, had three purples. Thank you. Did you have four? Nice. I did once. Once I did. So let's see. I took two cubes. I contained. Now I threat phase. Remove the lowest cube. That's going to be this blue three. Reroll. It's a five. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's treble. There it is. So we have created a treble. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's for you, Dr. <laughs> yeah, it is my, my problem, isn't it? All right, well, I can solve some of our issues because I have a yellow two in my lab, which I'm going to use my once per turn ability of detonating, and I can destroy a prime cube that matches an identical cube. And this one's identical. So it's destroyed. Um, that's one action. And then for another action, I really want to get a purple six, but it's blocked. Um, I guess I could take this one here, but unfortunately we're gonna hit an event, so there's nothing I can really do about that. You could adjust. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Um. Let's take this. So this is action number two. And then let's adjust it, because then I can adjust one of these, and I can bring the five down to a four, which is still a two problem, you know? It's a two kind of problem. But we're getting it further away from where more are. Your ability to double adjust is clutch. Right? Okay. You feel good about it too. So I'm going to adjust this to a six. Why not? Oh, you're going for the three sixes. Right. Because I want to get this in there because then we can see which the tech card is, right? Because when two of these are no. revealed, oh, we get to yeah. see, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So this, over. this is prepared to be contained, but that's my last action. But whenever I adjust uh, on my lab, I can adjust a primed cube. So I'll bring this five to a four, getting us a little, not really much less threat. We'll handle it. Yeah. We, it's a process. It's a process. Okay. Well, well, I guess you know what else I could do to pre keep us super safe? I could reassemble that down to a one. Love it. Right? Yeah. Set do you like that? Set any primed cube to any value. You like that? Yeah, but maybe... Um, if you're using that, then you could still use your adjust somewhere else. That's true. That's a good point. So I could use I could change this right now you to a one instead. Six. Yeah, and then and then change the six to a, a two or a one because if we have it as a one, there's a threat. But more ones is easier to destroy. You can't change that to a two. I can change it to any value. How do you change this to a one? Oh, touche. You're right. I can't do them both. You're right. You're right. You're right. You could change that four to a to three. a three. There it is. Right, right, right. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. Well, uh, I'm science. It's because I'm a really good doctor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still have a threat phase to do. Uh, a purple two comes down. Roll a six. Did you roll? Let's roll a six. Hey! Why would you want a six? Because I've got one here, and I can detonate it next Ooh, turn. Ooh, detonation. Yeah. Okay, we've revealed accelerate. Destroy the lowest cube on the Tesseract, which for us is on the third level and it's the one, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. Okay. All right. This Tesseract is trouble. Now it is my turn. This is a satisfying puzzle because it cascades itself by forcing 
the lowest level one to go unless right. you can mitigate it, which is hard to do. Cha. Uh, cha. Okay. Ooh. I see, I spy a purple two available, which I've already got two purple twos, and there's an open purple two over there. So that feels like uh, yeah. two moves to contain. Yeah. We're into it. Purple two removed. It didn't even have to be the same color, did it? It did. Well, because I'm trying to match they the had two the, of the same. But they need to be all the same value. They don't have to be the same color. Must be all the same or all different. What are you missing here? Same. I'm confused a, why you're confused. A set is a cubes of the same value. A set or run is valid only if they're all the same color or all oh, different colors. Oh, why did I not remember that? Sorry. You're totally okay. right. I'm so sorry. It's like the card game set, which is one of my all yeah. favorite games. All right, I shall contain this purple too. Yay! Yay! Contained. We're getting close on purple. Actually, I can re-roll these two. Yes, I will. <coughs> I got excited. Ooh! And inhaled my own spit. I have a two and a three, and now I get a level two, a research card. Reassemble set one primed cube to any value. Oh, nice! That's the one we just used. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do anything before? I you... might adjust that one down to zero. As because I've done two actions thus far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that feels right. Boop. Destroy it. Nicely done. Cube. Uh, so now it's threat phase, and we will remove this orange two. Reroll it. It's a five, and now no breach, five. but there. There's gonna be Gulp. a breach next time. Gulp. Uh, what was your what's your passive ability again? Whenever it's a threat revealed, you can discard a research card to ignore it. A threat is the events, right? Is that the same thing? Yes. Okay. A got threat it. event. Okay, got it. Um, all right. Well, good news because it's the demolition expert's turn, and he can Yay! detonate things. I may have taken not the best <laughs> research card. No, this is great. I really, I, I like your the containability. Crisis will become more essential in the late game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm a crisis controller. <laughs> there are three or more in the primed area. And we haven't had any breaches yet, so we're good. Um, I'm going to detonate this purple six, which means from the primed area it is destroyed. That's my first action. And then I've got a set of sixes. Uh-oh. And... There's an Alex Ward here. Hello, Alex Ward. Alex Ward. What's up, friend? He's a great guy. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, no sweat. Um, as you wisely mentioned, you, they need to be either the same color or different colors. These are different colors. So I, I love different colors. will place and contain the six purple. Purple six contained. Before I re-roll these dice, do you want to reveal the tech card we get? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Our first card. Mass mutation. And we you can play it on any researcher's action phase once you acquire it. Each researcher may set a cube in their lab to any value. Oh, nice. Even more powerful in a four-player game. So by revealing it, we've just shown what it is, but when we get all four, one of us takes it into our hand. Is that right? And then can use it whenever? Or does it trigger when we get four? Once we get four, the active player takes the card. Cool, 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 got it. Uh, I'm gonna reroll these for a research card. Three and a six. Excelente. Um, I get a realignment. I'm sensing That's a theme. A I'm sensing a theme. Um, which, let's see, relocate. Do you want to go ahead and use it now? Yes. Two on top. I do. I want to relocate up to two cubes on the Tesseract. So we will relocate. Well. Well. Here's the thing, Becca. If I do one to this level here, the second level, and then another from the third level. Oh, I'll just be moving it to the third level. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Boo. Doctor brains. <laughs> Let's do this one because it's actually pullable. Also, there's a blue one. Um, Your options are very limited. Great. Okay. I guess technically we could leave the empty space. That's what I was kind of wondering. Yeah, and this also this is only two faces. There's three faces showing since the top. So if if we wanted to pull the five, is what I was wondering. 
Um, but I want a four. Uh, I could take that orange four and I'll have a run. You better spend your realignment card. Yes, thank you. Um, or we could do a one. How many actions have you used? I've used zero. What was happening? I'm oh, let me first warp. detonate. Um, let me first detonate this blue three. Okay. From, from the primed area. Ba boom. Didn't you do this? You contained already this. That turn. was last turn. No. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's been your turn it's, for a while. No, this is the threat in the face. I'm so sorry. Worm, I'm thank restarted. you so much for your Twitch Prime sub. All right, it's the threat phase. You already did yeah. all your stuff. I need to do the so threat phase. So you used your rewind. Yes. Okay. Now we just pulled the two. So sorry. Trying to take two turns at once. Yeah. I was trying I to time. Noticed. I was time to time. Time to try. It. Oh, good job time. not rolling a five. That would have caused a breach. If we get seven breaches, we're bad scientists because we let the world explode. <laughs> and really, the whole universe. We let it. It was our fault. Yeah. We'll take responsibility. I mean, we're the only ones who can disarm a tesseract. It's on us. Uh, but you didn't let the world explode, so good job. Thank you. So, threat phase complete. Now it's my action phase because I'm the crisis controller and I want to go now. Okay, uh, I got a one, a two. I need a yellow three, perhaps. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Okay. I see a yellow two up here. And so I can get... We'll, uh, we'll ignore these. I could go one, two, three, five. Mm -hmm. I could change that five to a four. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a run of all different colors. Oh. So we will remove from our first action. We will adjust. adjust for our second action, this five to a four. And then contain. So, ooh. We're getting so close to finishing purple, and that, that seems satisfying. So I'm gonna move, let's see. Oh, oh, you know what? I actually get to uh, blow up a matching, when I contain this orange four. This is good. Four, this is good. Yeah. I blow up an orange four in the primed area. Uh, primed area destroyed. <laughs> I okay. think I think you made a good choice because I'm worried that if we get rid of the purples, that'll be less flexibility for us to get them out of our lab in the future, right? True. So we need to utilize them while they're there. That's a good point. Yeah, you'd only be able to use them one at a time. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and re-roll these, even though I could just get another orange four, do it again. But I like getting cards. And <laughs> yeah. I only get cards if I choose to reroll. So, a blink. Uh, three, four, five. Hello, Mama Light. <laughs> okay. So now, since I rerolled three dice, I get a level three research card. Perfect matter. Set a cube in your lab to any value. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. nice. But I'm out of actions for now. I could set one primed cube to any value with reassemble, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because... If you make it a six, I can detonate it. Um, or I can, actually, I was gonna no. detonate that this turn anyway, so... Yeah, I'm gonna make it a one. Okay. Because uh, yeah. Great. Uh, Great. we have a threat phase right now, and if we get three primed numbers, we in trouble. Yeah, that's a good move. So, uh-oh, I have to take this lowest cube, re-roll it, it's a three. We have two threes in the primed area. Trouble. And now I have revealed a chain, chain reaction. reaction. Now you have enough cards to maybe prevent this because this is going to prime the lowest cube on the Tesseract, which is going to give us another cube. Uh, when a threat is revealed, you may discard a research card to ignore it. Ignore yeah. that offense effect. Maybe you want to yeah. save it. We also remember we could upgrade these to the super powerful ones too with research Ooh. or study. Ooh, yeah, these are all level threes. Mm -hmm. I could destroy a number of primed cubes with a total value of three or less. But this is essentially the same as avoiding. I'm going to go ahead and discard because I want to use my power at some point <laughs> okay. in my life. That's good, though. And the crisis controller. I just want to avoid crisis. Let me do 
doing my job. She's a sweet, li sweet little scientist. I'm seven years old. Oh my gosh, she's a Doogie Howser, is what she is. <laughs> I'm really good at science. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to stop the end of the world. Okay, uh, that's my turn. That's the threat phase. Your action phase. Oh boy. Well, now I'm actually gonna really do my action phase instead of trying to take it twice. We're gonna do detonate once per turn. Destroy a prime cube that matches an identical cube in your lab. We're gonna detonate this blue three. Goodbye. <laughs> Detonated. All right. Now, what I was talking about with you earlier was not having too many purple cubes in our lab because I don't know how to take them out of our lab, right? Ooh, transfer. Well, that's what I was going to say is maybe I take one of yours to relieve the burden so I can distribute mine as well, right? We have not been using this ability at all. Right. Um, so maybe I'll steal... Transfer. Yeah, transfer. I mean... We are scientists. Yeah, we're on we the same steal. side. We're on the same side. No. Um, okay. So there's a blue... And whenever I transfer it... Oh, I can't adjust it, though. Okay. You've got a two, a three, and a six. Yeah, this makes it difficult. I've got a purple five. Okay, I got it. I'll take that purple five. Enjoy. Great. That is first action. Then I'm going to do mass removal, I think. Okay, but the symmetry is really off here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, we forgot to reveal our four tech. Ooh! Okay, the four says, Mental Link. Draw three unused character cards immediately. You may use up to three of their abilities at no cost. I love that. That is sick. That's really fun. Okay, um, so then I'm going to grab... Don't make fun of how I need a booster chair to see the operating table. <laughs> I'm not that kind of doctor. I just operate for fun. There needs to be a reboot of uh, Doogie Howser, but he's a CSI, like, mortician or something like that. There is a reboot, but he's autistic. Really? Yeah. There's a Doogie, there's a Doogie Howser reboot? Where it's not I... called Doogie Howser. It's just about a doctor who's a kid. Oh, Hoogie Dowser. Hoogie Dowser. Oh, got it. I don't know it. what it's called. Someone in chat knows. Kid doctor? Kid doctor. Really? Do your turn. I'm trying. Take a cube from the Tesseract and place it in your lab. You may adjust it. I may adjust it. That's sick. So you have two, three. Oh, but you can't need. do a fifth I, color. It needs to be an orange. Orange four? But I can make it an orange one. There's an orange four showing. I know, but that's, I don't but need to adjust it. And I want to adjust it so I can adjust a prime cube for us. Whenever I adjust a cube in my lab, I may adjust Oh, this allows and, me to adjust it. Yeah, I, that makes sense. That's a freebie. Um, so I guess I'll take the orange three and adjust it into a four. Okay. Is the move. Um, which, uh, whenever I adjust, I may adjust a prime cube, so we'll nuke this one. Deactivate his cube. <laughs> um, and that's my second action. And then for my, oh, I have to use this mass removal. Wait, that's even an, an... The Good Doctor is the name of the show. The Good Doctor? Mm -hmm. How old is this kid? I'm so interested. The actor or the character? The... both, actually. Um, and then, that actually wasn't an action, because that was just... Cards are free actions, right? Cards are free actions. Cards are free actions. So that I've only used sick. one, which is a detonate. Uh, you also used a transfer. Quit trying to cheat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> one more. So, um, I'll... I think I'll contain. I think we can do it. Um... We can either contain... It's not about a kid. He's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he has a slight build. Can I at least have that? <laughs> I was like, there's no way they remade that show. Uh, all right, I'm going to contain the yellow two. Or wait, actually, let's contain the blue three, which lets us see the level three. Ooh, and Jed really threw me for a loop by saying, two player Tuesday, but it's Wednesday. It is not. Nice try. Maybe where you're at. Mass Maybe he's on the Marshall Islands. Reclamation. Not reclamation. That's how you spell reclamation. Um, any researcher takes a destroyed cube, rerolls it, and places it in their lab. Each researcher. Each, 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 everybody no, 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 re a cube, put okay. it in their lab. Love it. A destroyed cube? A destroyed cube. Ooh. Okay. Um, that's cool because we can use the color. That'll be really helpful. Yeah, you um, pick a color? I'm going to reroll mine for the research. And we got a six. Ooh, that's cool. A they five. Did make it on Dis uh, they did a remake on Disney Channel. Okay. The character is also autistic. Okay, great. I mean, yeah, I think any uh, 
Yeah. Anyone precocious enough to be able to do something like that as a child? Name? Almost all those kids. A spectrum type of brain. With doctorates, yeah, they are definitely on the spectrum. Very specialized. Fantastic. Uh, Take one additional action this turn. Push the limits. Um, That's my third action. I'm being honest about that, and therefore, it's the threat phase. Unless you want to push the limits. Do I want to push the limits? I feel like this is actually a good one to study with, because I can go get one of those Uber cards. It's one action. Okay. Right? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Do I really need another one? Yeah, let's, let's, I'll, I'll hold on to it. Let's do the threat. So the threat would be the second level. I have to keep reading chat. Idiot Control Sunday says, according to Google, the reboot is called Doogie Keme Aloha, indeed. <laughs> Are they Hawaiian? I would, I would really hope so. I don't know. <laughs> it's from Iowa. All right, uh, it's the blue. Hawaiian people can be from Iowa. That's true. They just live there. Uh, th- we're taking the orange four because that's the lowest one here, I believe. Yep. Can Ohioans be from Hawaii though? Yeah. And we got an orange four again. Can Ohioans be from Hawaii? Yeah, I'm sure there's there's well, got to be one. I feel like Hawaiian Hawaii family. has a, a ethnicity and a culture attached to it. That a number of them. Ohio doesn't necessarily. <laughs> or Iowa. <laughs> Uh, what? Those are the same state, right? <laughs> They're far me? apart, too. <laughs> okay. You're so good at identifying culture, I'm just though. <laughs> kidding. I have a lot of family in Ohio. What's happening now? Uh, it's your turn. Okay. Doctor. Doctor, where am I? <laughs> am I inside the Tesseract again? <laughs> Get me out of here. Our crisis controller is in t- caught in space time. Okay. Uh, that's me. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I've already got a set. What do I do with it? It's almost as if you worked for that. <gasps> so, ooh, ooh, ooh. A if four, I put yeah. this in, yeah. okay, okay, okay. We'll get close to that mental link. First, I want to study. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Salvage. Take two destroyed cubes, roll them, and place them into labs of your choice. <gasps> I'm going to just do it now. Because what if it's perfectly already what I need? Um, wait. What color would you like? Uh, well, we need more blues Cowbell. and yellows, I guess. And you have blues and yellows to chain up, so. Or you could just choose one color, I guess. Maybe I'm two yellows is smarter. Yellow. Oh, so two I'm, blues I'm, is smarter. I'm calling an orange for me. Why? Because oh, because you want, want the diversity I want to try that. and get a longer okay. run for a better car. That makes sense. Uh, but what color would you like me to reroll for you? Oh, we each get one. No. I choose. I could re-roll two oranges. Um, Too that's late. That's fine. Yeah, Boink. go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, we want a one or a five. You got a five. I got a five. Okay. Um, hi. Oh, you need an orange six. There you go. You can Enjoy. give it to me. Yeah, Destro- put two destroyed cubes, roll them, place them in labs of your choice. Oh, I missed that part. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nicely done. So now. Uh, I am going to contain Uh-oh. as my very first action. Actually, real quick, do you want this? Because guess what? We don't need the orange six. So would this be helpful for you to have? Son of a gun. Because then you're only one away from, I guess, getting the... Uh, I'll go for sixes. Sure. Right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll anyway. So I'll... Uh, it's time to contain! <laughs> I can hardly contain my excitement. Should I, which of these should I do? We've got two, three, four, five. Nicely done. Um, we can't do the two, can't do the three. Could should do a sh- yellow cube, which I think is great because we want to get the mental link going. Agreed. Okay. Contained. Two, contained. I'm going to re-roll two, three, five. And... Let's hope we roll some sixes. One, Ooh. three, five. That's fine. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I rerolled three cubes, so I get a level three card. This one says, rapid containment. When you contain a cube, you may contain a second cube from that set or run as well. That's really good. Oh, I love that. Nice job. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So next turn, I'm probably going to go. Hold on. That was my first move because I used a card. Right. So I can well, potentially get another contain this turn if I can get. You did study as well, I believe. 
I did study. So that's two, right? So I have one more action. Um, you know what? I'm still not that worried about the primed area. Because nothing has two so far. We will get an I event. I like a yellow. Sweet, sweet. I'm thinking maybe I won't. That yellow fly. Ah, uh, my lab is full. Okay. That is my turn. All right, threat time. Uh, I could discard a card to, for us to ignore it, but let's see what it is. Uh, loop. I love nice. Two. Good job. Planned bat. Accelerate. Destroy the lowest cube on the tesseract, or I could give up. Mm, Set a cube in your lab to any That's value. That's pretty valuable for the end game. Uh, let's just right? let's just take the, the hit. chain reaction. All right, so that's this one, I believe, right? Or that's a three. No, oh, then the three is. Mm. It's a three again. Okay, I can't detonate that unfortunately. I was hoping we'd get one. Um, but let's see what we can do on this turn. Boy, I want to try and detonate one of those threes, but I. Can't because it's there. Um, all right. You get this blue. That's exactly four? what I was gonna do. Yeah. So I'm going to do that instead, Woo! which I gives me a chain of three. Actually, maybe I should adjust first and make it a chain of four, because then I can also adjust a prime cube. Let's do that. So um, before I do this contain, I'm gonna bring this to a three. You got a three before a five and a six. Then I'll contain. And that's your final action. Babingo. Ooh! Enjoying our mental link. We've completed all fours in the Tesseract. I will roll, we roll the three dice to get research. We've got a six, a two, and a five. That's very good for us. Whee! Because that gives us a couple of options. And um, we could use this right now, right? This is my Ooh. third action, so. Uh, they don't cost actions. Draw three unused character cards immediately. You may use them up to three of their abilities at no cost. You want to do that now? Yeah. Right? I feel, feel like... Yeah. I, the other lose condition, I assume, is that the Tesseract is gone, right? Correct. Then we also will lose. We've Those been the choices. doing great on the breaches, by the way, Crisis Controller. Yeah. No breaches. No breaches. Uh, that's when I'm really good at avoiding crises. It is a cooperative game, Jed, and a very engaging one. This is a really uh, fun little puzzle. Draw three cards. Woohoo! We've got the transport engineer. Um, now we can use three of their abilities, which I assume is their action abilities, right? You may use up to three of their abilities at no cost. Yeah, right. It's their actions because the passive. Either one. Let's see the terminology used to describe their. Because every um, uh, every character card has both a passive ability, uh, which triggers when you do a certain type of thing, and then the action. Your unique action is different from your always-on ability. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we could just choose to uh, enact an action, and if it triggers an ability, we could choose to enact that. No, so, uh, I think you may only use their passive ability. Well, that's a bummer, because they... Then I should wait to use them at the top of a turn, because a lot of these are whenever you... Mm. So can I save that? Yeah. Because I've just used all my actions. So yeah. we'll set them aside for now. Wait, keeping face up, you may use up to three of their abilities and no cost. I just assume I have to use them now. No. Okay. I This may be a wording question for the developer, okay. but it says unique action and always on ability. ability right so I think that that only lets you use the always on based on the terminology currently in the rule book this is a bit of a prototype even though it's yeah. not very prototypey it feels very finished okay um, but so uh, um, that's my assessment of okay rules. I love that assessment um, I I know a rules lawyer. <laughs> I forgot to do one thing when I was doing my turn, which is that when I adjusted to make that set of four, I also get to adjust a primed cube. Ooh, we love that. Do you want me to adjust? What do you want me to adjust here? Do you want me to adjust the three or the two? Okay. Three to a two. Yeah. Up to you. Um, I'm kind of thinking a two to a one. Sure. 
Because you know I'm only going to do anything with the crimes if I can destroy a cube because that's the funnest part. Right. <laughs> I'll try and pull a purple from you and maybe I can try and detonate something. We'll see. Maybe I don't need to. Go ahead and... Uh, add all three actions? That was not only three actions. Yes, we have to do the threat now. Right? Or did yeah, we there's a, just do that? there's a just a single cube here. So we're going to hit it. It's a five. <gasps> Got a two. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. And actually, I can detonate it next turn if it stays there. Oh, okay. And then you reveal up here? Yes. Accelerate. Destroy the lowest cube on the Tesseract. No. This Destroyed. Okay. Oh, destroy. Thankfully, not prime. Good, 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 good. Okay. Good, 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 good. That's my turn, Becca. Then again, we should just let stuff breach. Right? Because no. then oh. I can use my ability. And we have... Look, we don't have to have zero breaches to win the game. We have to have not seven. So that's a resource. We can spend breaches. Oh, interesting. You're trying to actually... Life total is a resource. You're trying to capitalize on the lockdown ability is what you're saying? Yeah. That's I haven't a good idea. to use my character <laughs> ability once. So I am a crisis controller. Uh, also, so at the meeting in the beginning of the day, you're like, you know what, guys, let's let's, 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 let's just learn. What if we what? had an explosion today? What if we left the door open on the lab? I don't right? know. It could let's, be fun. Let the animals in. Let's we'll see what happens. Things. Okay. Have you seen RRR? Sometimes you gotta let the animals okay. in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've got. Ooh. If I change my purple six to a five, then I have three fives. I could set a cube in my lab to any value. When I contain a cube, you may contain a second cube from that set of run as well. So I could do the yellow and the yes, orange. Yes, that would be awesome. That would be one away from that. Okay. So. Great choice. Let's just use all my stuff. I'm gonna use perfect matter to set a cube. Oh, no, no, no. I can just adjust by one. So we'll save that for when I need to, a bigger adjustment. Okay, so adjust from six to five. Okay. Now, we have a set. I'm going to use rapid containment to contain these two cubes instead of just one. Ubu weep. So nice. Ubu weep. Containment complete. Unfortunately, I don't get to blow up anything in the primed area, but then again, we don't care because breaches are so fun. And now, I've only used adjust and contain. I get one more action. I'm about to reveal. Um, if I could set, let's see, I've got a three and a five. All I need is a four, so I could sp spend perfect matter to adjust something and then contain one more time. Could you contain a five? A blue five? No. Mm -mm. Well, you could hold on to that too. That might we might want that when we're really down to the, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That would be really helpful when we're when targeting we're down something. To the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the scientific it. term for the last part of the test. They make people or something? No, we're, we're disarming a tesseract. They're making people. <laughs> Did you ever play the Princess Bride board game? That's cooperative as well. There's a Princess Bride board game. Well, there's a doozy house. <laughs> We're learning so much today. Uh, okay, so my final action. Do you want any of my cubes? Um, a blue one would be cool because then I could use simulation, which is where I start of a card with each. Where I start with a cube of each color in my lab, I draw a level three research card. That's a great idea. Here you go. Is it Transfer. a three? Okay. Well, that's, that's actually also return. really good because I'm gonna oh threat. Go ahead. Yeah, you think you think the world's not getting worse every day, buddy. <laughs> it's a yellow five. Oh, Good thing it wasn't. Well, okay, well your breaches are coming. It's I happening. I know. No crisis controller. No. Um, Give me that breach. We're ready for lockdown. This is actually fairly good news here because um, I could detonate one of these issues here. So I have a three. Um, actually, first off, simulation. If you start your turn with the cube of each color in your lab, draw a level three research card. So that's one of my actions I will use. Boop, boop. That's a four. 
crazy. This is level three. Dang it. I got so excited. I got so... I see three. I think three. You're right. Taking this away. Uh, I guess you could do it twice. That's what I was wondering. What's your card say? Take the lowest value primed cube, re-roll it, and place it in your lab. Oh. Well, we'll wait until we detonate that one, because I don't want a one. Um... But an orange is not bad. All right, we'll hang on to that. And then um, I have a blue, a green three. Okay, green is not the color. I have a blue th three. So I can detonate that with my demolition expert ability. So goodbye. Honestly, don't worry about the primed if it takes an action. You've done too good a job, demolitions <laughs> expert. You really want the breach to happen. No, I'm saying containment is way more important. Right now. We've got a lot to cover. The cubes are going fast. That's true. The cube, we, Our timer is running We're, out a little bit. We are at exactly halfway contained. Okay. And I think we're more than halfway gone. One, two, three. No. So four by four is 16 um, this, towers. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. Yeah. So we got, we're, we're a little before halfway. We're doing okay. But then a whole extra row. Oh, the extra row. We You're, are, oh, I forgot the extra row. We are row. doing bad on containment. I say don't use an action for primed area. Are you sure you don't? I'm oh. a doctor. All right, doctor. I'll keep it. That seems crazy to me. Contain, we were told contain, that this contain. is this is like key. No! no. Crisis control. We, can you, 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 you can't crisis live your body. life like this as a crisis controller just because you just want to justify your job. I want my job. <laughs> I want to save right. people, so put them in danger. If I don't do any work, no one's ever in danger. No. Never, you're going to get it on the five. All right. You're going to forget about the hazards. Fine, fine, fine. Let's try this then. All right. You know what? I did dress up for Halloween. I'll post a picture on Instagram later today. I'll actually, I will make something pretty cool happen. Um, how do I do it though? How do I do it? I'm taking this away so we remember. Okay. Um, whenever you transfer a cube or a cube is transferred to you, you may adjust it. If you ignore the imminent threat, it will ignore you. We need a blue five is what we need or a purple three. Hold one sec. Check. One, two. Here's what I need. Check, check, check. Oh, okay. I wish things would stay the same. What happened? Check. Okay. Uh, my audio was low. Okay. I know. Everyone's upset. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of in a pickle here, Becca. I need some advice. So um, I have a two, a three, a five, and two sixes. And I think we want to try and get the more missing is four. research, right? I know, but we don't need... I mean, that's true. Um, but... That'll be orange. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So I'm going to take this four. This is a transfer. Or a remove, excuse me. Removed. This gives us a four, five, six in orange. And I'm going to uh, contain this four. But with my logistics manager ability, I can contain a cube and I may adjust it first. So I'll adjust it down to orange. Or Ooh. to three, I mean, excuse me. Uh, pitch. I feel like one is the hardest to get because it's the, on the outlier of the run, you know? Yes. Like you're more likely to get numbers in the middle. Yes. Okay. Oh, you adjust it. I can't. I would. I would switch it, but I could only do I one. I thought it was any. Yeah, I yeah. Set. Just kidding. Okay. Um, I'm going to reroll these bad boys. We'll see if I can get some low ones. Ooh, a six and a four. That's the exact, or almost the same thing as I had earlier. Um, but that actually isn't bad. So that gives me a, a two research, or level one research. Excuse me. Adjust one primed cube, which I will do that in a second. But Becca doesn't want me to. Uh <laughs> To another cube that'll prevent it. Uh, but I could contain again, Becca, because I actually have two, three, four. Yay! And this, I could use one more time and adjust this to a three, giving us our level three ability. Okay. So I'm going to contain two, three, four. I'm going to adjust this to a three, giving us our level three card. These are gone. I'll reroll these for a three and a six. And then take <gasps> another level two. Level three card, mass reclamation. Each researcher take a, takes a destroyed cube, rerolls it, and places it in their lab. Do you want to do, do that now? now? Yeah, sure. I mean, we probably need a yellows and blues, right? I think I'll take a blue. 
Oh, there's a bunch of blue showing. Maybe I'll take a yellow. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, but there's more blues in there. I got a three. All right, I will also take a blue. I got a six, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna actually burn this to take another action. Um, six. Plus one action Good. this turn, thank you. Uh, and I'm gonna contain these three sixes and contain this right here. Ooh, level I'll, six blue contained. I'll reroll this, giving me another six and a three. And, and a, level two card. a level two card. Invert See one prime I cube and mean? one cube Containing in your lab. Is fun. Speaking of which, we actually uh, never revealed the level five card, which we can see now. Ooh. Breach, shield, take a primed cube and place it on this card. The next time a primed, cu primed cube of this value would cause a breach, destroy it. Ooh, and this cube very and nice. Breach. Hey, the dungeon breach run. Shield. Thank you for the raid, friends. Shout out. Wow. That's a new effect. Very cool. Love a shout out situation. Hi, Dungeon Runners. Good to see you, friends. Uh, the Dungeon Run airs on Wednesday nights here on Twitch, I believe at 6 p.m. Pacific. And their, one of their creators, Ron Ogden, actually has a Kickstarter up today for a uh, RPG advent calendar. Yay! I'm so excited about this. Yeah, you should check it out on Kickstarter. There's links and socials. Um, and then, let's see, I think that's my turn. I need to do a threat, unfortunately. Lowest cube on the Tesseract is this purple five. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, it's Becca, you almost got your wish. I can't believe you're stopping me from saving us. It's so crazy. Let's let the breaches happen. <laughs> you're a monster. <laughs> Go, though. <laughs> you can still root for Becca um, and hope that she outshines me as a scientist if you want, Jed. That's fine. The, the bet today wasn't for who did better. It's if we, we survive or not. <laughs> Sorry, I had an audio blip. We got a hum. Mm. Nobody likes a hum. Hi, Tapper Toss. Okay. So you have you have threaded. Yes. Now it is time for the crisis controller to watch a crisis occur. <laughs> Stop getting excited about it. <laughs> okay, I get to contain a cube from my lab if there are three or more of that value in the primed area. Not yet, though. Someday. Okay. <laughs> I have a one, a three, a five, and a six. Mm hmm. Hmm. <gasps> There's a blue two showing. We'll take it as our first action. We can also take an orange four, but I see none. And one, two, three. That is better than nothing. Let's go ahead and. <gasps> yeah. I will contain. So I was gonna. Purple completely contained. Nicely done. When a color row is completed, place any one destroyed cube on the tesseract. So, I'll take a purple. Wait, why? Oh, um, no, yeah, right? A blue. We, yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll it. It's a one. We can put it anywhere on the Tesseract? Yeah, so we'll go to the lowest spot. There's a little pocket right there. And that's going to be the first one. That's taking. nicer than I thought. I thought we'd get one into our lab. That's nice. It goes back on the Tesseract. Yeah. Uh, so, I took one. I contained. I'll re-roll these. I'll get a level two card. Good roll. I got two twos. All I need is another two of another color. I could adjust the purple. And my new card says, swap labs with another researcher or <laughs> choose another researcher to draw a level three card. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Swapping labs is a terrible choice. There's no point. It's cooperative. Seven well, um, but somebody's abilities might trigger better based on what they have, you know? That's a good point. Hmm. My final action. My final action. Final action. As a crisis controller That's shall be I. to flood the research center. It's a crisis. Okay. I'll solve it. I'm going to spend perfect matter. Set a cube in your lab to any value. I'm going to set... Uh, this blue cube to a four. 
And now I have four, five, six. I'm going to, oh shoot, not what I meant to do. I'm trying to finish blue. Yeah, I see that. Um, what was this at? Two. Yeah. Undo. Okay. You could go for twos because we need those, mm. but adjusting is too far right now. Hmm. I'm going to take this orange six and make it a two, and then my final action will be to take a... What's showing the least orange? So I'm going to take the orange two. Contained. Nicely done. Wait, really? Yeah. Hmm. And then uh, I'll re-roll my other twos in order to get a level two card. I'll play my turn. I'll play my turn. I have a four, five, and six, so ready to contain their turn. Um, and I drew a minor ripple, adjust one cube in your lab. Nightcat asks, can't put it on the empty square and then reactivate the thing that happens when it's revealed then? Or are they all bad things? Yeah, everything on the bottom is a bad thing for it's us. It's all bad. So we need that test of act to we don't, stay there. Yeah, we don't want them to react, re-happen. Yeah. Okay, now my threat phase, I'm going to re-roll this blue one, because that's the lowest. And it's a blue two. I guess you might want it to happen, because then you could use your ability to prevent it, which is all you're really here for, is to use your abilities, right? I like crises, so <laughs> I can prevent them. Oh Please man! Oh man! All right. Um, well, I have three threes. We've already done the threes. So seven more contains this is, and we win the game. Yeah, well, that's the thing here. Now I'm thinking strategy wise. We don't want to pull more than one purple because that purple's used to like get sets and runs, but we don't. We'll never contain them, right? And now I'm like, what do we need to focus on? It's really just blues and yellows and that one orange. But you can just use the purple over and over to keep variation in color. Yes, but I don't want more than one purple because I'm not going to sure. get rid of them, right? So if I take one in, I don't want to overextend it. Um, invert a primed cube. What is an inverted of a three? It's three and four, right? Because every side equals seven. Um, that actually would be the play, I think. Pro tip. Yeah, so let's pull that too. This is a, re oh, whoa. This was a remove. Doot doot. That one's stuck together. Uh, remove, that's one. And then we will adjust a three to a four. Anytime I adjust a three to a four, I may adjust a prime cubed. I'll adjust this down. Ooh, one to a, <laughs> nothing. And then, opening a Coke can. <laughs> I will, actually, that was an adjustment, not a invert, which I will ins um, actually... So you took one, you adjusted it. That's two actions. I'm gonna use a free energy inversion to invert this to a one, which gives me a three, or excuse me, a one, two, three, four, Ooh. a four set. And then what do you want me to get, Becca? Do you want me to get the, I guess I have to get the orange. I've set myself up for that. Yeah. But then we'll get one, one back on the orange. Tesseract. Heck yes. Right? Do it. All right. So the one orange contained. And we get... Orange is now fully contained. I'll reroll these. Oh, this is great. I got two ones. Two boobies. Yeah, two boobies. And then um, we get to reroll one of these. Do we want a yellow? Right? Yeah. Yellow? I love a yellow. Yeah. Um, and you rerolled three cubes, did you not? I did. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'll take a card, is what you mean? Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, it's a six. And it just goes back on the Tesseract, wherever you want. I'll put it right here. Beautiful. Too many sixes, though. Um, major Ripple, adjust one prime cube and one cube in your lab. Okay. Um, that's Time to prime. It's this orange one, unfortunately, a one that I really could have used. If I could. Is my mic? Check. I don't, I think it, hold on. Oh. We were not hearing my mic the entire day, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Someone said I was echoey. Can you hear me now? Check. Check. 
Yeah, me on is good. Now you on. You try. This is Becca. My mic is not working. <laughs> okay. You sound fine to us. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah, yeah. Good now. Off. Back. It, it... You're hearing me through. Oh. The mic works, it's just not the same quality. That worked, now it's better, better, better. <laughs> Folks, gonna... welcome to Two Player Tuesday. We, uh, we do board games and audio Don't issues. Don't bring attention to it. <laughs> um, I am re-rolling this, uh-oh, Becca, your crisis has occurred. I'm re-rolling this one that we have as a threat and it has an orange two, which is the third two in the primed area, which is our first breach of the game. We we're only allowed six or seven of these before we lose, but Becca is thrilled that there is a disaster that she can try and thwart. Yay! Disaster! That's too loud. Okay, now my mic is plugged in for the first time. <laughs> Great. 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 Um, you actually can't prevent this, but you can take advantage of it occurring, right? So um, that's the end of my turn. Cool. You are you are good to go. I just gotta check one more thing uh, because <laughs> I'm too close to actually. What is it? I think I'm gonna make a light up sign that just says, "Let's do audio for 30 minutes." And then we'll just we'll post it on the wall here for us as a reminder. It'll glow. Hold, please. Checking one. Now my mic is plugged in. All right. Uh, found the bad mic, and now we know. The bad now mic was found. Bad mic. Bad. Very bad. Okay. Your turn. Uh, great. So this is exciting. We finally got a breach. I'm really happy about that because... <laughs> Contain a cube from your lab if there are three or more of that value in the primed area. All I need to do is get a two, and then I get to contain it. So I need a, a blue or a yellow two. Adjust a cube in my lab with a minor ripple, or, let's see. There's no twos available. How'd you get this one? That was from the threat. Oh, they have to be three showing? I thought it was the lowest. Yeah, no. So the lowest plus three showing is what you're saying. Yeah, it must be it must be takeable. Got it. So we can just adjust this. It was it was this was like this essentially. So it would be a yellow one instead. We should still take the two. Do you remember what it was? It was what it what this was? Uh -huh. It was a one. Okay. Put that back. We'll just put the yellow one as a two because you so, already rolled a breach. So it's the lowest level plus has to be pulled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. You got must it, be able to it. pull it. Just like any other. Um, okay, so I'm looking for oh, gee. a two. You're tickling my toes. You're such a toe tickler. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. You're trying to do what? I have what? a four, five, and six here. Right. Uh, so I can go ahead and contain... The sixes. The yellow six. Yeah. So I'll first contain... Blink. Well, were you thinking about pulling one first to try and make it a longer? No, I'm okay. using my crisis controlling abilities. Okay. Okay. Uh, ha, 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 ha. We have created mass mutation. Each researcher may set a cube in their lab to any value. <gasps> That's great. I'm going to go That's ahead really and good. do that right now. Can I do it too? Yeah. I'm going to turn this blue four to a blue two. I'm gonna, and I'm going to change my yellow three to a Booby. And the action lockdown. Contain a cube from your lab if there are three or more of that value in the primed area. <gasps> I can contain this Very too. Very nice. Additional containment complete. That was two actions so far. Do -do. We have to do this. Isolation field. Take two primed cubes and place them in your lab. We also get this one. <gasps> Temporal anomaly. Return two prime cubes to the tesseract. That's awesome. Okay. That one we need. Okay. 
Whenever a threat, oh, okay. So maybe now I care about doing something about this primed area. Oh, now she cares. Now mm. that she solved a problem. So, yeah, I guess I'll adjust. But if we finish isolation field, which you're about to do one of, um, then we're gonna want the yellow too. I think you to can choose any lab. of them. It doesn't have to be the bottom most. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a plan. I'm going to take this purple two and make it a one. Do you want me to detonate that? Because I can. Well, now it's not a threat. Great. So do what you must. I'm going to take this for our threat phase and prime it. It's now a three. Bingo. That is a breach. A breach. <laughs> Breach in progress. Catastrophic rift at condition seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whenever a threat event is revealed, and that was this one. Yes. Chain reaction. Prime the lowest cube. Um, you can discard a research card to ignore that effect. Do it. I could adjust one cube. We don't want to lose stuff labs. from the tesseract. I think. Swap labs. I think we don't really need. Right? But you could draw a level three. That is. Uh, but not having another thing pulled from the Tesseract would be I'm nice, right? Because that. that's kind of our timer. Okay, I have discarded research team to make that not happen. Great. Now it's your turn. I'm going to contain right here. I have three ones. Um, I'll contain the blue one. Doo -doo. Blue and I one think I'm going to not re-roll these, right? Because then... I can get one more and then get the the yellow one. There's an orange one available. Blue one, yeah. Oh, yeah, orange or, or blue. blue. Yeah, yeah blue's think, even better. Yeah, I think we'll do blue. So I'm gonna remove. <gasps> nice. And then I'm gonna contain again. Yee! Yeah, so we're gonna contain this one and I will reroll these. So that's two containments and we get the temporal, or no, which one? Temporal anomaly. That's really awesome. Let's see. Return two primed cubes to the Tesseract. Now we should do colors we want, so yellow and blue preferably, right? So maybe like uh, a five and a six. I actually can't use my lockdown because we already have all the threes built. So uh, if you wanted to return the, the troublesome breach cubes, that makes sense. Wait, I don't understand. You The threes, the, you can still contain. Oh, contain it. Oh, I understand what you're saying. So you want me to pull the ones out of there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do one of the- both. Wait, finish your reroll. Okay. Two and a three. Take a research card for that. All right, temporal anomaly. Return two primed cubes to the Tesseract. So you're saying both, th I should do threes? At least one of them. Right, I think just one of them. So we'll do this and we'll pull a five here because I want a blue. Okay. It doesn't say whether to reroll, but I feel like they should be rerolled. Oh. Ooh, that's an interesting point. Maybe they won't be, because then we could take their value. Right? Maybe that should calculate into our assessment. Okay, so we need a two and a five. Yeah, we need a two and a five, not a three and a five. And the threat- uh, Do a three. Well then, okay. Two. I mean, you have a point. We can always adjust. But it's just another action. And then I'm gonna put it here because we want more yellow showing. Um, okay, that is the end of my action phase, but then we've got a threat phase. So the lowest one here is, it looks like a six mm -hmm. yellow. We'll roll it, triggering another breach. Breach. Quack. Yeah, they're gonna happen a lot, so we- Yeah, we're, we're, on a, we're on a very tight time right now. We have a yellow two to get and a, a Blue five. Okay. Oh man. Okay, let's see. I can, hmm. It's my turn. I might be able to get the blue on my turn. The blue five, I think. Oh, okay, you want me to go for twos? I think so. Wait, I might have lied. Um, let's see. It's my turn, hush. Well, I'm trying to help you with oh. what to prioritize because I we have a we have a finite amount of turns on wow. this one person this one this two person team okay <laughs> but it's my turn <laughs> but every time i'm trying to prevent a breach you're like let it happen <laughs> yeah 
I have different priorities. I know, but it's on my turn. Okay. I think I might... Mm, right? So, I can actually get the five easier. Okay. If you can, then go for it. I think that actually is fine. Two. Yeah, I could, I could get the two, maybe. It might take me another turn. Okay. I'll just do my thing. I'm going to take a blue five. Okay. I'm going to take a yellow six. Okay. I'm going to spend minor ripple to adjust this yellow cube. I'm going to use my final action to contain blue. Thank you. And now I will retrieve the breach shield after I roll these. Take a level two card. Minor fluctuation. I've got a four yellow and a purple two. Uh, take a primed cube and place it on this card. Okay. Mm. The next time a primed cube of this value would cause a breach, destroy it and this cube and ignore the breach. Okay. Okay, so we're trying to get more yellows. So it just gets destroyed blue. anyway, right? Yeah, I don't. Uh, there might be a way where we take a primed cube and take okay. two primed cubes, place them in your lab. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So that, that makes sense. well, the game will be ended by the time we get that. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But we are going to win. Um, before your threat phase, we also gained a row. <gasps> when a colored row is completed, place one destroy cube on the tesseract. Uh, yellow. <laughs> yeah. It's the one. I'm going to put it right here. Right here. Right here. Now it's your turn, Doctor. Don't you have to do your threat phase, though? I'm going to take this cube. <laughs> and roll a two, maybe. Dang. Three. It's a three. Breach, 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 breach. breach. It's not good news, Crisis breach, Controller. Breach, breach, it's not breach. good news. It's a resource. <laughs> okay, I think I. We have four labs currently on fire. I. <laughs> he's so calm about it. Uh, I think I think I can handle it. I think we might might try and win this. Okay, first action. I'm going to remove the three. <clears throat> uh, yellow three, and then I'm going to. Uh, use minor ripple to adjust it to a two. Then I'm going to use my second action to adjust this to a two. And my third action to contain them, giving us our final yellow two. Ooh, we're going out for pizza after work today. Woo! Scientist pizza party. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, it's not. Hold on, hold on. Okay. We'll do it in post. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. We've contained the Tesseract! We win! Speech from Dr. Demolition. Uh, Dr. Boom? Dr. DeBomb. I couldn't have done it without my danger encouraging partner, uh, Dr. Calm. Hi, it's me, Dr. Calm. Uh, the one eating a popsicle over there. Uh, she it's did a great delicious. job. We uh, are so happy that space time is contained and the Earth is saved. And I think we should all go out for pizza at a pizza buffet, right? Oh, wow. Pizza buffet. The finest pizza in all the <laughs> land. Do they still have pizza buffets anymore? God, I hope so. We'd have to go back in time to find one, I bet. No, I've been to one in the past 10 years. R 10 years. Okay. <laughs> What one? Was it like, uh, was Godfather's was the one I remember. Oh, wow. Well, um, I feel like there was one that had a theme song that was played on local cable a lot, but maybe that's just local uh, to my town. Jed Bird says, amazing job. Who did the best? Well, it's a cooperative game, so no one wins, but I was counting who many people, <laughs> how many we each placed in containment. And? and? It was exactly the same. <laughs> no, I didn't count. That was a lie. I, they would have believed you. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? We could always go to Sizzler, and that's a buffet of every kind. So, uh, Sizzler for Sizzler's all the scientists. Sizzler's a good call. That's a good one. Thank you. 
I know where one is. And uh, hello to everyone. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Tesseract. This is a new game from Smirk and Dagger. And oh my goodness, there's a Kickstarter going on now. Uh, if someone can hit exclamation point W2TF is this in chat, that should pop up for you. And I can't, I put a reference link in there. I hope you didn't redo it. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, please enjoy that VOD later. Haha, ha, 8P. And what other news do we have? What's coming up, Jake? Um, well, we have a video called Slay the Spire How to Game that just went up this morning, as Ooh. a matter of fact. If any of you are fans of Slay the Spire, the video game, there's currently a board game incarnation, which we covered. And the Kickstarter is not literally on fire, but figuratively on fire, because I think they're already at like $700,000. It's going really well. Bonkers, yes. That launched this morning. Check that out on our YouTube channel and hit that Nightbot link, if you will, to check out Tesseract so that they know we sent you because it's got a little reference code at the end that you can see there. Um, I had a blast playing this, this was, game. Yeah, this was great. What a fun puzzle that was constantly changing too. Like I felt like we were so confident in the beginning and then things got bad at the end, which always puts the tension on. Well, we always had uh, most of the game since you were demolitioning, you were uh, checking that there was never more than one or two one thing of each right. hit value in the primed area and I said let it go haywire and so <laughs> when we had two everywhere of course it's going to go off every yeah. turn but since we had less than seven turns to go it, it was totally fine yeah. and so you know life is a resource in, in <laughs> certain other games breach is a resource like why not use that uh I, I feel great about our strats I would not play crisis controller again because well, I'm just curious about. I didn't use it as much as you use Demolitions Expert. There's so many. Demolition, yeah. There's so many interesting ones. There's, there's like a lot. A, yeah, there's like a dozen. Here, let's talk about it. Logistics, ma uh, logistics manager, super fun. They can uh, contain cubes and then adjust them. I use that special ability. Um, the pro a computer programmer was the one that if you have all four colors, you get a th level three research card, which is nuts. Exogeologist. When you contain and reroll cubes of the same value, draw a research card of the next higher rank. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Because research cards were really clutch. Uh, the magnetic physicist. Whenever you adjust a cube, you may invert it instead. That's really awesome. Uh, uh, just read the titles. We don't have to read Quantum them all. mechanic, astronomer, linguist, transport engineer, and field researcher. You know what? Child I've seen doctor. the movie Arrival and Linguist, super important. Very important. Also, that movie is based on a short story by Ted Chang. You You're going to say based on a true story. I was like, Becca, wait, no. Yes. <laughs> yes. Time is not linear, and that's already happened somewhere. <laughs> that's true. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, yeah, go follow that link. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, hit follow on the channel if you're not already following. We always love and appreciate subs. And, um, should we announce our Twitch migration sometime soon? Sometime soon. Yeah, we should figure that out. I agree. We could say that now. We can, yeah, sure. Okay, great. Uh, glad that it's not a secret anymore. All right, we are going to be moving these streams back over to the Good Time Society oh. Twitch channel sometime soon. So we'll see you over there. We'll be sure and post about it. And uh, maybe so we'll go, go do a raid. Yeah, make yeah. sure you're following twitch.tv slash Good Time Society. The reason we're doing that is because um, we're hoping to uh, move into a studio sometime, someday. Yeah, be a studio. Yeah. Make it real. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Shout out. Giving a good time study. The shout out mechanic is very cool. We love a shout out. Uh, cool. Be sure to check out our YouTube as well. Go subscribe to that there for all the fun videos. And uh, we'll be back soon for more Two Player Tuesday, right? <laughs> what an outro. What an outro. Yeah. See you what soon, everybody. <laughs> Stick around. If you're watching live, we're going to do a raid on Twitch. We'll see you later. Bye.